Welcome to the Lisbury Baptist Church YouTube channel. Uh, we're continuing to look through our series on spiritual warfare, looking at the armour of God. Uh, we've looked at the belt of truth and last week the breastplate of righteousness. And today we come to look at feet fitted with the gospel of peace. And I'm going to bring a reading um, to us now from Psalm, chapter, from Psalm 17. <clears throat> Hear me, Lord, my plea is just. Listen to my cry. Hear my prayer. It does not rise up from deceitful lips. Let my vindication come from you. May your eyes see what is right. Though you probe my heart, though you examine me at night and test me. You will find that I have planned no evil. My mouth has not transgressed. Though people try to bribe me, I have kept myself from the ways of the violent through what your lips have commanded. <clears throat> my steps have held to your paths. My feet have not stumbled. I call on you, my God, for you will answer me. Turn your ear to me and hear my prayer. Show me the wonders of your great love. You who save me by, who save by your right hand and those who take refuge in you from their foes. Keep me as the apple of your eye Hide me in the shadow of your wings. Feet fitted with the gospel of peace. Sometimes it's called, a feet, called feet fitted with readiness of the gospel. <clears throat> now, here's a little something a little bit different. I wonder what different shoes you all have. Perhaps you're thinking, oh, I've got about 15 pairs, or I've only got one or two. Here are some of the ones I've got. These here are running shoes, which I use in the gym, uh, or when I go out running. Uh, they're quite good uh, for that. I'm supposed to change them every year or two, um, but the, these are still in quite good condition. Um, so these are really good shoes to wear when I'm out running. <coughs> These are just a pair of casual trainers that are just convenient to wear uh, walking around uh, and just generally going about during the week. <coughs> now these are my football boots, which I only wear when I'm playing football. Uh, as you can see, they've got studs on them. They're only plastic studs because I only play on AstroTurf these days. Um, so yes, uh, these are quite good for football. They've got a grip on them for the AstroTurf. Uh, and they're generally, they'll only be used for when I'm playing football and not, not for anything else, as they'd be a bit, bit odd walking around with these studs on those shoes. These shoes are quite uh, a lot smarter. You can see they're almost shiny, not quite. Um, but these are little smarter shoes that we've worn for occasions when you're dressed a bit more smartly, weddings or something. Um, so that's uh, another type of shoe. And on my feet right now, I've got a pair of slippers, uh, which is just for comfy shoes to wear around the house. Uh, and one of the reasons why I like to wear them around the house is otherwise you'll go through socks much more quickly. Um, so they do protect your socks a bit as well as being comfortable. But the point is, we have to have the right shoes on, don't we? Whatever the occasion might be, having the right shoes on is so important. Supposing I was to go, uh, you know, go to the gym uh, just wearing those smart shoes, well, you know, my feet would get un uncomfortable quite quickly. Um, it wouldn't work at all. Uh, whereas if I turned, turned up um, to take a wedding or even a, a funeral wearing these football boot, green football boots, it would look very strange, wouldn't it? And uh, they'd be um, clip clopping around, uh, around everywhere. So we have to have the right shoes on. And this part of the armour is about having the right shoes on, feet fitted with the gospel of peace. In a spiritual, in every sort of battle, we need to have a firm footing. We need stability and a firm footing. And then it's the same in a spiritual battle, to withstand attacks on our faith with the hard, hardships and challenges that come our way. We're not ready for the spiritual battle without readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Our stability of being grounded in God's word, 
unstable Christians will fall in battle. We need, need to know what we believe and why. And when we have a firm faith, we will not be shaken when trials come. So we need the right shoes to help us move. <coughs> in a battle when the enemy's coming and you need to get away, if you've got the right shoes on, you've got the best opportunity to escape. You know, one thing that hinders the gospel and the progress of the gospel is standing still. We need to be on the move, actively seeking opportunities to present the gospel. I don't mean it necessarily in a physical way, but how are we looking to present the gospel, looking for opportunities to share the gospel? That could be in our individual lives. Are we alert to what's going on? Or how we share it with the world today. The way in which we share the message you know, can change so much over the years. But the message itself stays the same. Being ready to move. Are we active with the gospel and looking to share it with others? <clears throat> you know, when the chosen people of Israel travelled through the wilderness for 40 years... Miraculously, God kept their shoes intact and he will do the same for us in principle <clears throat> to make our destination, us reach our destination, make sure we reach the destination. He'll make our path straight. Paul talks of gospel fitted feet, enabling readiness with proper preparation. We're ready to go in it for the duration and ready for the spiritual battle. We're also reminded that Satan does not want us to share the good news. <clears throat> it's a battle because Satan does not want us to tell others about Jesus. Satan wants us to think that it's a, a, it's a worthless and hopeless task. Last week we thought about protecting our hearts from the lies of the enemy. It's too big, the responses won't be, won't, will always be negative, why bother? It will put relationships in danger, it will do more harm than good. We see many ways in which the gospel is being squeezed out of society. We need to be ready to share the message, to share the good news. Having feet fitted with the gospel of peace also means being grounded in the gospel. Our readiness comes from the gospel, which is good news. We're called to be grounded in the gospel. The gospel, which in itself means good news, is the foundation of the Christian life. The good news of Jesus coming into this world to die for our sins. It enables us to stand firm. Are we grounded in the word of God? The gospel is a message of forgiveness of sin, thanks to the life and death, death and resurrection of Jesus. <coughs> it removes our guilt, shame and fear and brings about peace with God. As a gospel centred life, how is your Christian walk today? Are we standing firm or are we slipping? Are we truly grounded in the word by spending time reading God's word? When we walk with the wrong shoes, we will struggle. If I tried to play football in that pair of smart shoes or my slippers, I would struggle. Well, I'd struggle a bit more than I already do. But we have to have the right shoes on. Being grounded in the gospel. We need to know the word of God. Read the word of God daily to get to know it. When we fail to get to know the word properly, we can get caught up in wrong teachings and the devil can mislead us and look to take us on the wrong paths. Sharing the wrong sorts of messages. Earlier in the series, we thought about coming back, the importance of coming back to the word of God. Making sure we know the word of God. There are opportunities through daily Bible reading notes. And if you're, you'd like to know more, then do speak to one of us in the church. We have a Bible study every, on, on a Tuesday. 
at the church where we get the opportunity to study more of the word. There are house groups available and again, speak to me if you want to know more. Feet fitted with the readiness of the gospel, being grounded in the word of God. Therefore, we can be protected against the enemy's attacks and sharing the truth of God's word. Also, as I said earlier, the gospel is good news. Feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. It may seem odd to have these shoes, these shoes fashioned for battle, to be called that the gospel of peace. After all, Jesus came to bring peace. Talking about peace when we were in a spiritual battle. And Jesus says in John 16, 33, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. You also read in 2 Thessalonians 3, 16. Now may the Lord of peace, the Lord of peace himself, give you peace at all times and in every way. The Lord of all be with you. Jesus brings peace to our hearts. Do we believe that this gospel brings a message of good news and of peace? There doesn't seem to be much good news in the world today. How wonderful is it to be able to share a message of good news? Feet fitted with the gospel of peace. <clears throat> we should also be ready, be prepared to share the gospel. Is it one of those things we can put off for a long time, decide we'll do it when our circumstances are better, when we feel more able? 1 Peter 3.15 But in your hearts revere Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. But do this with gentleness and respect. We pray for opportunities to share our faith. We don't quite know exactly when they will be, but we should be alert to them and be ready to them, ready for them. It may come when we do not expect. It could be tomorrow, it could be this afternoon. There are different ways in which we can bring across our faith. Sometimes in a, a more subtle way, it may depend on the circumstances. In church, we need to be ready to share the gospel. We've got messy church taking place next Thursday. A very different way of sharing the message, but it's still the same message, the same important truth that's coming across. What is it that you might be able to share with someone this week? Do you have feet fitted with the gospel of peace? Being alert to all that's going on around us. Are we alert to that today? Always having the right shoes on. Do you have the right shoes on today? I don't mean physically. But do you have those shoes on your feet with the gospel of peace? Be ready to move when called and when the opportunities are there. Being aware there is a battle and the enemy doesn't want us to share the good news. Are we grounded in the word of God? Making sure we know it so we can share this with confidence and faith and assurance. Are we aware that the gospel is good news? And that we're ready to share it at all times. Having our feet fitted with the gospel of peace makes us ready for the spiritual battle. Being ready to move. Being ready to share. Being grounded in the word of God. Is that how we are today? Let's pray. <clears throat> Father God, we thank you that the gospel is a message of peace and of good news. And I pray that each one of us can take the opportunities to share that gospel. I pray that we can be more grounded in your word. We can get to know you more by knowing your word. And I pray, Father, for the opportunities that we have in this coming week 
that we would be able to take them, that we would be alert for them, and we would be ready. In Jesus' name, amen.